So in this video I'm going to show a little bit about the theory of how I make the whips. Um, you can skip through this bit if you like and um, as I make the individual sections I'll give you the lengths to cut the cord to. Uh, but in this video I'm going to show you how I worked out those lengths um, and how it can be applied to different whips in this style of making. Um, so the whip I'm going to be making is a 16 strand and um, there's no lead in it, it's what's known as a naturally falling whip so it's, it's basically made entirely out of, of the cord. Um, now this table here will, will show you how many strands are in each different layer and where they drop out and all that sort of stuff but I just wanted to show something uh, using this first of all. So this is a piece of gutted paracord and it's very similar um, to what we're going to create when we're braiding our different layers through the whip. Um, so as you can see as I push and pull on this it's made out of different strands and it can expand and contract to a certain level. Uh, now it has a limit uh, on the number of strands that need to be inside so if I pull it as far as I can I can feel here it's still squashy. So this particular piece can't close over nothing it needs a core inside so there's a minimum number of strands that are needed on the inside to stop it from being squashy and likewise when I push it like this there's a maximum limit of the number of strands that I can fit inside it and the only way for me to fit more inside of it would be to create gaps in between these strands in here so with that in mind that is how I worked out this table and we start with what we know about the whip that we want to make so I know that I want uh, to make a 16 strand uh, whip this table shows basically the um, the different layers of the whip so we have the overlay here we have the belly here we have belly uh, number one there and then we have the core here so here we have our table um, and on it is represented the number of strands in each section uh, for the overlay so I know that I'm starting with 16 and I want to end with 14 um, now for our core so I'm working from the top and from the bottom to derive where these things drop out. So I know that a four strand here will only really fit comfortably over one strand. So we have the four strand on our out outer layer and that's going to sit on top of one strand here in our core. So then that goes up five, six. I know that six strands will sit over two. So we have one strand in our first belly or second belly. Uh, we have one strand in our core and nothing in our first belly. And so using this this table I can work out uh, how many strands are in each section uh, and I can be sure that they're going to cover each other because I know that 16 strands covers 12, 12 covers 8, 8 covers 4. Yeah. Uh, and likewise 4 covers 1. So as I'm going along I've got the total number of strands down here at the bottom. Um, and this will help us but you'll notice on here this is the number of strands this doesn't tell us anything about the length um, so that's what we're going to go into now and I'm just going to do this live so you guys can see how I would apply this formula this this table uh, to making a whip so we're going to start with the known things uh, I'm going to make a whip which is seven foot long and I want an 11 inch handle on it so I'm going to put here our first section, our handle section here, is going to be 11 inches long. So I'm going to write 11 inches there. That's the length uh, at which uh, the metal part of the handle will stop. Okay, now the total number of inches. So we're going to do 7 foot. So let's just go back to the calculator. So, what is it, 12 times 7 equals 84. So I know the total length of my whip will be 84 inches. Now, in between that and that, I have sections. Uh, and the number of sections is determined by where I'm dropping out my strands. So, let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 sections. So I have 15 sections there that I want to be of equal length. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the total length minus the handle 
and then we're going to divide that by the number of sections and that will give us our section length. So let's just quickly do that. So we have 84 minus 11 equals 73. So divide that by 15 is 4.86. Pretty much recurring. Okay, now that's a little bit of an annoying number to work with, so I'm actually going to round that down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the remainder from all these sections onto the end section because it's nice uh, to have this end section, which is a four strand, which is a nice stable pattern. It's nice to have that a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to work it out as if these sections are 4.5 inches all the way along and that will be where my drops are and the remainder will be pushed into this end section here. So this end section will be slightly longer. So let's just do that. So we have 11 uh, plus 4.5 equals 15.5. So that's here. Uh, so the next section, and I'll just keep on adding these uh, and write them in at the top here. So 15.5 goes to 20, goes to 24.5, goes to 29, goes to 33.5, goes to 38, goes to 42.5 goes to 47, 51, 56, 60.5, 65, 69.5, and 74. So then all these sections are equal. This one's going to be longer, so 74. So this end section is going to be 10 inches long. Now these numbers they describe not the length of your strands but where uh, different strands drop out along the length of the finished whip. Um, so I'll show you in a little while how to work out um, exactly uh, the length you need to be able to drop at 11 inches because if you just cut 11 inches uh, you'd probably only actually get like nine maybe seven inches of braid something like that. So lastly I just want to touch a little bit on uh, how I use these numbers up the top here to work out how long the strand lengths are going to be. Um, we'll do this with the, the first belly just as an example because the core is a little bit different but I'll go into that um, as we make it. Um, so say for instance here I've got uh, strand number eight uh, and I know that I want that to drop out at 15.5 inches so what I'm going to use is a little formula to derive the length of that strand. Uh, so we're going to use times 2 plus 6 and that will equal our strand length. So if we plug that in that's 15.5 so what's that 31 plus 6 is 37. So I'll know that that strand, uh, that first strand in the first belly needs to be 37 inches long. And it's not quite as simple as that because we're actually going to end up um, doubling our strands over at the start. Uh, but again, I'll go through that as we're making the individual sections. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope this wasn't too confusing. Uh, it will become a little bit clearer in later videos um, as we work through the individual sections. Um, but yeah, this, this table here, uh, if you take off this, can be applied... Um, to, to many lengths of, of whip. I would avoid going under say three inches um, with the techniques on the, on each of these sections uh, because if you imagine you're going to have a strand from your overlay uh, as it drops out being held by the strands above it. Now if that's too short it can kind of pull out. You need a certain amount of grip to keep those strands in place as the whip works. So if you go too short on these sections you might find that you're having little strands pulling out as it's working loose and stuff um, but yeah generally for, for the way that we're going to make these whips this is a, a fairly universal table uh, and you can expand and contract uh, as you like these windows as well like the the 4.5 inch length you'll see as we go through making the whip you don't 
always have an option to drop exactly where you want to drop. You could, you have to drop a little bit before or a little bit after, and that's where some of the skill um, and some of the nuance comes when you're uh, when you're making whips. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you like it, like it. Uh, if you don't, don't. <laughs> All right. See you next time. Thanks.